welcome 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 back to my channel guys on today i will show you how to make a salt fish sauce guys uh using tomato paste here is our salt fish guys so what you want to do is remove all of the salt so i'm going to remove all of the salt run it under cold water removing the salt and this is a wild caught one guys make sure when you buy your salt fish it's wild caught it's not farm raised so i'm going to go ahead and use these items that you see here we're going to use these different colored bell peppers we have some thyme i will use some fresh parsley i have some tomato and we have a fresh lime and i will be eating it with a yellow yam and some green bananas guys or plantains all right so we're going to get this washed and i'll come back and show you what i do next all right guys so i washed all of the salt off of our fish so i'm going to go ahead and place it in this pot of water like this and we're not going to put the lid on because if you put the lid on once it begins to boil it's going to boil over and you're going to have a whole mess on your stove so do not um, put the lid on so I'm gonna let it cook for maybe about I would say 10 to 15 minutes guys our codfish is done I just wanted to show you how I kind of determine if it's done or not I just take a knife or a spoon and if it see I'm trying to lift it if it cuts in half it tells me that it's cooked but if it's still stiff that means it's not cooked so I'm going to go ahead and drain the water and then show you what I do next. All right, here's our fish, guys. Here's our salted fish. Um, another way you can determine if it's cooked or not is just by taking a piece and tasting it. And if it's soft, then you're good. And also, you could taste it to see where the salt level is. You do not want to remove all of the salt. You just want to remove some of the salt because you still need the salt to flavor your sauce. Okay, guys, do not remove all of the salt. And in this case, mine is perfect where it is, but if it was still salty once I took it out, then what I would have done is add some cold water and just let it sit in it for, you know, a few minutes and then remove the water and give it another taste. Okay, guys, so salt fish, you can't eyeball this. You have to taste it to see where the salt level is. So now I'm going to turn on my stove and we're going to put it on high. I'm going to go ahead and use some grapeseed oil. I'm going to add some in like this. Yes, this is a dish that you do add some um, oil. So don't mind the amount of oil. And I also will be using some butter. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in my butter. And this is a salted butter. And you would notice that I will not for any reason, guys. You will not see me add any seasoning in here because there's no need to. I would not add any Maggie, guys. So I'm adding my red bell peppers I'm gonna add my pepper my scotch bonnet I'm not gonna add my garlic just now okay guys and I will be adding just a few cloves because this is where all my flavors we're gonna have natural flavors in here Okay, guys, and I'm going to add my tomato paste. Okay, so we're going to... Uh-oh. So we're going to allow our tomato paste to cook, guys, for a few minutes along with our peppers guys we want that to saute in there I like to stir in my tomato paste first I'm not going to add all 
but I'm gonna add just some of my tomato as well. And we're gonna allow this to cook for a few. Seconds. I'm gonna add in some of my garlic, fresh garlic. If you guys notice, I'm using all fresh ingredients. Trust me, we do not need any Maggie in here, guys. We're gonna allow this to cook for a few, about a minute or so, but we're not gonna let it burn. Okay, guys, you gotta look on the bottom, make sure it's not sticking. And remember, you have your garlic in there, so you definitely want to keep an eye on it because you do not want the garlic to burn. Okay, guys? All right, guys. It is about good. So now I'm going to go ahead and add in our fish. I'm going to break it. So with the tip of my knife, I'm going to go ahead and cut them like in half. I don't like when it's like too small, but I don't like when it's a big, big either. Okay. So we're going to let this cook for about a minute in here before we start to make our sauce. time and we're gonna add some fresh parsley guys I'm telling you all these are natural things that are gonna bring a lot of flavor and I'm gonna add we don't want to add too much lime acid in here but I'm gonna add a little bit of acid like that or just a little bit more that's good I will just add some black pepper. I like that. My plantain should be already should be almost done. Guys, it smells good. It looks good. So now I'm gonna go ahead all right guys I have some hot water from my faucet I'm gonna just add some water to create our sauce guys and if you notice we don't have a lot going on here just felt like eating this for breakfast guys add just a little bit more water we want too much water guys we don't want to remove all of our salt by adding too much water I'm gonna turn my stove down to a number two and then we're gonna allow our sauce to pick up all the flavor from our fish guys and all of our natural ingredients that we put in here and then within a I would say maybe like two, three minutes, or maybe five minutes at the most. Then I'll come back and show you. All right, you. guys, here is our fabulous, fabulous saltfish with our delicious sauce, guys. Guys, the sauce is amazing. There is no need to 
add any Maggi seasoning salt or any salt for that matter. Your fish has enough salt to give this dish an awesome, awesome flavor, guys. And do not forget to add your onions. Okay, guys, I did add onions off camera. My mouth is watering, guys. Until next time, please like, comment. Do not forget to subscribe.